a rigid uniform bar of length 2.4 meter is pivoted horizontally at its midpoint. So the pivot is our triangle right there in the middle. We're going to rotate about the triangle. A uniform bar, by the way, tells me that the weight is going to be right in the middle of the bar. Did they draw a weight in the diagram? No, they didn't. Oh, we should include the weight later. Mm. All right. 2.4 meters. Anyway, weights are hung. Two weights here, a 200 and a 300. To maintain equilibrium though, a couple, force of a couple, means either opposite direction, but at, you know, same magnitude, either this way or this way, need to be applied. What is the torque and direction of this couple? So we need to add this couple to maintain equilibrium. That means this rod as it is, is not in equilibrium at the moment. So maybe we do a first check to see what is the net moment for this force. So net moment is what we need to find first. Net moment or net torque? I, I personally like to say torque because it sounds cool. Look at the torque. But moment is also fine. It's all fine. Okay, we need to draw the missing force, which is the weight. So maybe we find... Hmm, Weight is going to be right here. Oh, weight is right at the pivot. So that means the weight doesn't really do anything though. Because if your force is acting at the pivot like this, then there is no moment due to that force. Now, the other force that will cause a moment is the 200 on the left and the 300 on the right. Let's look at the 200 first on the left. Anti-clockwise. It's going to cause this whole bar to rotate in that order thanks to a certain distance, D, and a certain force, F. Ah, so we say the anti-clockwise torque equals to the clockwise torque. Let's give it another color. Clockwise torque. That will be thanks to this 300 Newton, which will cause this bar to rotate, or hopefully, it will cause a moment of clockwise. This is force. Distance from pivot, Oh, it's a bit tricky here. What is this distance? Ah? Uh, half a distance of the rod is 1.2. So 1.2 is the entire half of this rod. So 1.2 minus 0 0.8 is 0 0.4. That is a distance for the clockwise torque. Let's, let's see. Mm, one way I have written this is incorrect because when I write clockwise equals anti-clockwise, that means it's in equilibrium, but it's not. So I'm going to change the way I write this a little bit. The net moment that I find, net moment or net torque, would be the clockwise torque or clockwise anti-clockwise plus the anti-clockwise torque. This is a very strange way to draw it, but it, that's how I know how to write it up. Clockwise, what do we have? Clockwise will be 300 newtons and it's perpendicular already, so we don't need to resolve any forces, times 0 0.4. Plus, now this is where you need to be a little bit careful. These two torques are fighting against each other. So you need to define your direction. Signs matter. So for this direction, or more like this rotation, rotation, I'm going to choose clockwise to be mm, positive la, anti-clockwise to be negative la. So my anti-clockwise, I need to add a negative in front. So this will be negative, what's the force? 200 times 0 0.8. Because they are fighting each other, these two torques. The total I will get is negative 40. Ooh. Newton meter. What does the negative tell me? Remember, check back the direction that I defined on the right side. Negative means it's an anti-clockwise. So that means, due to the existing setup here, you already have, due to this, negative sign is going to be anti-clockwise. So our poor rod is going to rotate anti-clockwise like this, due to the unbalance. So to counter that, did I say 400? Oh, sorry, 40. Why? I write 400. Ah, yeah. There, I cancelled the extra zero. <laughs> uh, the end, the, the, oh, I cancelled out too many things. The, to balance this, we need 40 Newton per meter. So not 80. We need 40. But to counter 
we need clockwise. So that best choice will be A here because the rod is off balance. Off balance. We need to keep it in equilibrium. So to maintain equilibrium, I need to counter whatever those two masses have already caused. So the best choice is A. And that's how you can find the answer to this question. Hope that's helpful. But that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.